So we are headed over to the RV again, and this time I'm going to give you guys a full and complete tour with my ratings and reviews. All the stuff that I absolutely love, the stuff I like, and the stuff I would change if I could. Let's go. So how did we end up buying an RV in the first place? And who's we? Well, my husband Jay, myself Jody, and our two-year-old daughter Rowan. And this is our story. And this is our brand new, well, brand new to us, 2022 open range RV. In this episode, I'm going to give you a complete tour and my full reviews. If you're looking for dry weight versus mechanics versus specs, this or that, that's not this video. This is our experience. We've had the RV for a couple weeks, haven't gone anywhere with it yet, just the lay of the land and what we think so far, okay? I did a lot of research online when I was looking for an RV and most of the videos spend much of the time on the external. This episode, we're focused on the internal. Also, I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers by my birthday, June 29th. So please subscribe, like this video, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you for your support of my channel. Okay, let's go. Exterior review, I would give this five stars. I love everything about it. Even the back, this whole gray panel, beautiful. The white with black trim and gray and even a Nike swoosh gold looking thing right there. Frameless windows and this part in the front, the bowing of it, the shape is my favorite part. With this thing that kind of looks like a guitar pick, the horse below the words open range, I just think it's perfect. Okay, let's get inside and take a look around. Okay, so we are here, we're gonna do a quick setup of some things, but first I wanna give you guys a complete tour. So starting with the panel here, this thing is pretty self-explanatory. Um, let me turn my camera around so you can fully see it. It's really user-friendly, I would say good interface. I give this a thumbs up. Everything works as expected. Highly, highly appreciate this, definitely thumbs up. Behind me, obviously, we have the kitchen. And I'm just going to walk through each of the elements and just kind of let me let me just turn around first and give you a, a full view of the kitchen. First off, there is plenty of space in this kind of runway space between the counter, island and the stove area. It's really spacious, I think, or at least enough. And we've cooked in here a couple of times and it's worked out really, really well. Plenty of storage, drawers, everything. Everything is a hard close. You know, you have to yank on it a little bit, but slam shut. The microwave is interesting. It looks like a giant microwave, as you can see here. It looks, I mean, it looks like a huge, a large microwave. Then you open it and it's, a lot smaller, but it's still a big microwave. It works really, really well. I like it. I feel like it looks streamlined. We've got a nice window here. So that adds some light over the stove, more counter space on both sides. A lot of times we saw different RVs where they only had counter space on one side and then there was something over here or vice versa or wall or something. So um, I like the skylight up above. There are plenty of lights. There are tap lights that are all along the top of the couch kind of living area so you just tap them and they turn it on and off and the rest of these are part of the main lighting system which you just go over here to this little switch and turn it off so um, the island we've already put some things here it came with this wood cutting board and then there's a mat like a metal mat that goes over here so it closes up the sink completely if you want to do that so you have a full counter space this is a solid surface whatever it is some kind of countertop it's i don't know what it is it's obviously not granite or anything like that but it is solid it's not plastic it's not for mica it's good and it has a nice look to it more spaces for storage down here you can kind of see we've stored a few things here and then 
more drawers, our trash right here. And then the stove here, it's, it's great. It's obviously smaller than a conventional stove, but it's got three burners and I appreciate this glass cover. So you kind of have a full countertop when it's closed and protected, open it up and there you have the three burners. And then also maybe I'm a little cheesy, but I like the blue lights. <laughs> I think it adds a little pizzazz. Yeah. So. You can fit your frozen pizza and all your stuff in here. It's just right. Let's talk fridge. Okay, so when I initially saw this, I was like, ooh, what a sleek refrigerator. Like, I like that idea, right? Um, but then I was like, four quadrants? So if I want to check out what's in the fridge and I'm not sure what I want, I got to open up one, then I got to open up two, kind of to get a look. But then I realized, if I know where stuff is, that's not really going to be too much of an issue. It cools down nicely. There's plenty of room for all we need. I don't know if you guys can see how far back that goes, but I have pretty large hands for a female, but not nothing crazy. And there is room for a lot in here. And then the freezer is interesting. It's got this lip right here. There's a lip so it goes kind of down in there. So you can store things, nothing will slide out, but same thing over here, including door space. Pantry, one of the things I really love is this space up here. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I know it's going to come in handy. And of course the cabinets, I would say this is right around maybe a foot of space, foot deep. Shelves, all of them have a lip, so nothing slides forward. Same thing. We have a couple things in there, some mandarin oranges, some tea, and some microwave popcorn. Same basic thing down here. Everything slams loudly. I mean, you could kind of shut it quietly, but that's as quiet as it gets. A couple of drawers. So now we're on the other side of the island. This I really like. Power. I can charge my phone or do whatever I need to do here at the island. And also, while this, this feels a little flimsy and basic, like, I don't know what this is made out of, very thin aluminum or something. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but it is nothing special. But at least you do have your full pull down faucet for dishes. And by the way, I guess I should show you guys the sink. So it's pretty deep. I don't know, maybe, nine inches deep so not bad at all two sides so it goes quite a distance across maybe almost two feet so it is a full farmhouse style sink and it even has the metal face plate right here it's the whole thing but it just it gives it a nice design i think it's a nice look so overall i definitely give the kitchen a thumbs up i love the wood accents i love the fact that the whole thing has kind of an off white color with the dark wood accents if this were my real everyday house i'm not into dark wood i did that before not my thing but a lot of rvs campers etc they used to be dark brown or like poop brown i like the fact that this is at least off white with accents also by the way another outlet right here so, plus, I forgot to mention, this has a lip, kind of an overhang, so we use it for a place for Rowan to sit. We do have one of these chairs at home. We'll bring the other one, so we'll have side-by-side -side seating. Realistically, you could actually seat three people here. Yeah, and you could even, if you really wanted, put one on each end. So you could have a whole, let's see, three, four, probably four people comfortably before you're bumping plates into each other, but it's nice to have those options. Okay, <clears throat> let's talk about the floor. So it's a weird, it's almost like linoleum, I would say. It has kind of a, when you rub your feet on it, but it doesn't show dirt very well at all. And I like that. It obviously is made to look like wood. I think it's more gray than it should be. If I had a chance to change it, I would change it to more of a blonder kind of a wood, but it works, right? And then this whole area, I think I, have or we'll show you that in some other videos as well but plenty of storage up here up above we actually use this to store blankets 
Again, loud snap. You can kind of bring it down softly if you want. Plenty of windows throughout the whole main area, but I wouldn't say this is the lightest of places. There's also a window right here in the door, but uh, we've had that shut. Oh, by the way, there is a storage space right above the panel, right up in here. It's pretty deep, maybe a foot by a foot by a foot. And then kind of a coat closet, if you will, or whatever you want. I use it for my Swiffer. And there's some hooks in there, which are great. So you could put boots or shoes or whatever you like. The TV, I like watching TV, but I don't need a big screen. Some people would want a much bigger screen than this. I think it's 27 inches, maybe a little bit less. The fireplace, we've tried it out just to see if it worked. It does kick out a lot of heat. Ow, ow, sizzle, burning, hot. Can you feel it? Okay, that is my roaring fire sound effect. But this is pretty cool. You can have it with the heat on or off and just enjoy the flames. You can change the flame colors. You can change the rock colors, the intensity. There, it's blue. It's pretty cute and it works. Thumbs up. So this is the sound bar. It's pretty basic. I'll give it a thumbs up, but it is standard. It's what I was using when I did my dance party last week in the last episode. Yeah, that was this. There is an external speaker so you can link your jams outside as well. We've started to hang up some more hooks and things in here, but overall, I'd give this space a complete thumbs up. If I had my say, I think I would rather lose some of these and have bigger windows and just figure out where to put other things because I'm a window girl. But I do appreciate that the windows are there and they work. Another outlet right down here as we enter into what we call the flex space. And this is also my daughter's room, AKA the flex space. We use that term kind of interspersed. And this is by the way, a fan for the skylight right here up above the kitchen. Those are the controls for that skylight. Okay, flex space, plenty of room, plenty of closet space for my daughter. All of her stuff will easily fit in here. I say that now, but <laughs> we shall see. And this is a really comfy couch. It's easy to clean. Whatever this vinyl material is, it's comfortable, it's smooth, very, very easy to clean, and it feels durable. It does not feel cheap, it feels high quality. It doesn't look the prettiest, but I think it works. We also have some more under seat storage. We don't even know what to put in there. By the way, softer clothes on these, listen. That's the quietest drawer in the whole place, these two. Up above, this is where my daughter will sleep, her whole cubby. There is a USB and outlet right there. We've informed her about that. We're gonna close those up. And we're actually gonna close up this whole space. So she has basically her own little miniature room, obviously with air to breathe, and then a little ladder that'll go up here. We don't know if we're gonna use mesh or wood or something, but it'll be mostly closed, but not completely. And of course there is a window there and another skylight here. Lots and lots of vents. A plus for the air conditioning and heat. Up above you can see all the vents. It's nice and comfy cozy in here. Sometimes it gets a little too cold. This is the dinette. Also the changing station that is my daughter's diaper genie. We just change her on these little cushions here. They break down into another bed. By the way, the whole place seats nine people, sleeps nine people. Up here, I'm not gonna take it down, is another sort of bunk bed platform. And then below here, this breaks down into another bed. You just move the cushions and voila. Plus we have another window. I like this, has a setup on this wall for another TV. Um, there's some of my daughter's artwork. It's a great place to store things and also make it feel a little homey with my fake plant. Okay, so that's basically the flex space. There's some pictures of my daughter that I took. And then you come out and let's head to the bathroom right here. Interesting thing that I never hear anybody talk about. The doors do not go all the way down to the floor. I know there are good reasons for this, for ventilation, etc. Comment below if you know any other reasons why the doors don't go down to the floor other than ventilation. All right, fan that is controlled by a switch on the wall. 
does perfectly at making sure that we don't have any stinky stink. This is the toilet. I'm just going to show you this because a lot of times I see RV videos, they don't show the toilet. I'm just curious. All right. We haven't used it yet, so you don't have to worry about anything going on in there. And here's the pedal for the toilet. You have to pump it to get the water in there and then to flush. Um, the bathroom is small. This is where I would downgrade the whole review. It works. It would be nice if it were a little bit bigger, but it does work. Another solid surface, a little bit different than what's in the kitchen. These feel kind of flimsy, but they are work. Decent size medicine cabinet. I've added a little decor. And then the shower. These doors just close shut, and then you fasten it when you're not in there. The water pressure, A+. Plus, plus the skylight makes it really bright in here. My husband's six, one and a half and has plenty of room to shower in there. And there's actually enough space that we're going to be able to bathe my daughter, put her in here, water can gather, and, you know, a few inches of water for her to splash around in because she is a bath girl. And then this cabinet, when I looked at it online, I was like, how are we going to store our towels in here? But there is plenty of room. This is three adult towels and a baby towel and they fit in there nicely obviously and then a little space down here that's where we're going to put a trash can just a little we bought this little tiny one that i think will fit and that's where i store my carpet sweeper this is the perfect little space between the sink and the shower but that is your bathroom let's go to the bedroom i think this is a spacious bedroom um, I like this bureau here, these drawers. I'm going to use them. Quiet clothes, which is great in the bedroom, right? I would say that's pretty quiet. Another window. And there is a hookup area for a TV here, but we just put pictures up. And this is the door to the bathroom from the bedroom. So it's a Jack and Jill, a door into it. So it kind of makes it an ensuite. So that's great. Again, fantastic vents up above for AC absolutely feels cool and cozy up here Wi-Fi availability there okay so this is the door to the washer dryer hookup area or closet at this point we're not buying a washer and dryer because we can use one at our family's property but we may there's a cool big space up here for storage I feel like this place has plenty of storage. Also plenty of storage here. This is going to be my closet until we do get a washer and dryer if we choose to. And I'm not a high hang up kind of a girl, but this is the mirrored closet that my husband is going to use. Just open it up like that. He likes to hang his clothes. There's a fair amount of room in here. And interestingly enough, lift this up and there's storage underneath. And that storage actually heads to the outside. So you can access that little piece from the outside. And there's a little bit of a shelf up at the top here as well. Okay, moving right along. There's about two feet walk space through here, I would say, walking space to get you to the side of the bed, a little place to put your phone. I like the simulated headboard. Um, by the way, there is storage like in most RVs under the bed. Look at that. It's helpful. I think we put stuff in there that we don't often want to use. So let me shut that. Oh, Whew. okay. And then over here, same thing. I've made this place a little trash can right there. One thing that's a downside, there's no outlets right here. No charging station, nothing. There is an outlet right there, so we're gonna have to get something, a cord, run it. There's, a, there's um, the, the apparatus, I hope I can get this. This is what the slides run off of, this whole pulley chain system. So I don't wanna mess with up there, but we'll find a way either behind the bed or something around the bed to get some power. This is my side of the bed, and I'm gonna have some kind of shelving or something over here so I have more space to put things, a book, my phone, my readers, because I'm that person. But this simulated headboard is squishy. It's just obviously just attached to the wall. The bed, 
eh, you know, nothing special mattress. We're going to change it out. But that's the bedroom. Hello again. And then you have this door here. That's the bathroom door. Let me just close this. And you can see also it does not go down to the floor completely. All right, one final peek of the main room in slow-mo. So that's everything, you guys. I really wanted to take this time to show you the inside of this RV. Decor and decoration, I would give this four and a half stars. If it were lighter and brighter, I would probably give it five. Spaciousness, I feel like it's got almost everything we need as far as space, so I would give it five stars. Lighting and windows, I would give it probably 3.5 stars-ish. Mechanics, so far everything is great, everything is working. I mean, this is a 2022, so it's not brand new, but everything works really well. You want the AC on, boom, it works. We tried the heat, boom, it works. Refrigeration, the um, propane, just everything works. There is an outdoor kitchen. I don't think I'll be able to show that to you today, but, um, that gives, I give that five stars too. My husband's the chef in the family and he loves it. It's got a fridge, it's got a sink, it's got all kinds of stuff. So overall, I would rate this RV, I give it four and a half stars. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're a family and you need that extra space for a child or children. That way you can just shut the door, watch a little TV, cuddle up on the couch with your hubby like we do, and they can sleep. This is great, she has her space, and we have ours. So, I love it, I cannot wait to take it on the road. That's it. Oh man, oh. Ow, ow, sizzle, burning, hot, can you feel it?